Hi guys, it is a beautiful day in paradise. Here in the end times in Bridgeport, California, on this beautiful Friday, June 30th, 2017. So Friday is the day that I bring you my ecological meltdown roundup rant where I simply open up my email box to uh, bring you news of how this planet is heading directly into a brick wall at 67,000 miles an hour, even with no help from Donald Trump. And I'm gonna start this week's uh, edition of my non-Trump ecological meltdown around our brand. The same place I started my last, my, my Trump version uh, as a good segue from the Washington Post, their lead off environmental story of the week. These experts say we have three years to get climate change under control, and they are the optimist. Yes, uh, <laughs> anyway, I think we've had plenty of rants on that subject. Here is climate change in the U.S. could help the rich and hurt the poor. Huh. I'll have to spend some time looking into how climate change could help the rich. There you go. Down to Antarctica. A warming Antarctica will create new animal habitats. That could lead to some epic competition. This is as invasive species are now heading to Antarctica to take advantage of the new warm weather and uh, we're going to see what this means to that very fragile ecosystem and the species that already live there, how they're going to handle these invaders. I've already mentioned this, bears repeating about this newest goddamn chemical out there destroying the uh, the ozone. We thought we'd gotten you get rid of one of them and ten more take their place. Jesus, uh, this ozone eating crap. Uh, here is scientist just proved that wildfires dumped a huge amount of soot atop Greenland's ice sheet. And of course what that did is it made the, the reflective ice sheet a net gainer of, uh, of heat from the sun. We've already been over this one in depth on, uh, on Wednesday. Again, bears repeating, sea level rise is not just happening, it's happening faster. No shit, Sherlock. And uh, draw the dots between that story and this one, 72% of the world's most majestic coral reefs have been hit by major heat stress since 2014. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's go from the mainstream to the alternative media. We're going to go over here to alternet.org. We're going to skip around their Trump headlines and see if there's any way that alternet came up with the way the planet's being destroyed with no help from Donald Trump. Here we go. Uh, you know, I left my bullshit detector button and my no shit Sherlock buttons up in the tent. Take a wild guess which one I would be hitting right now. 10 sustainable fashion brands. Sustainable fashion brands that will keep you and planet Earth looking good. Take a wild guess which button would be in overdrive right now. Alternate ought to be embarrassed. This is their continuing attack from last week on Neil deGrasse Tyson. 
uh, becoming the newest cheerleader for GMO foods and promoting Monsanto's corporate agenda. Neil deGrasse Tyson, the newest corporate whore working for Monsanto. Uh, now, I didn't mention this one uh, in the Trump roundup, but this is just their latest version on how uh, Trump has pretty much uh, spelled the end of grizzly bears stepping outside of Yellowstone National Park. Uh, you hear no shit, Sherlock. Security firm hired to counter standing rock water protectors may have been operating illegally. Yeah, right. Uh, there you go. Asking the question, is your bank funding climate disaster? My bank is Bank of America. Yes, my bank is funding climate disaster. No shit. Sherlock. Uh, here's all of the latest GOP legislation attacking our national forests and uh, they wind up with this hilarious knee slapper Paris agreements one and a half degree target not the two degree target Paris agreements one and a half degree target the only way the only way to save coral reefs says UN. <laughs> I think we know what that means. Okay, over to the Center for Biological Diversity, which of course their lead off story yelling about Trump stripping protections for Yellowstone grizzlies. I think we've been over that one from grizzly bears to ocelots how this goddamn uh, bunch of homicidal, ecocidal maniacs called Wildlife Services uh, taking out the last few ocelots left in this country. Uh, you know, they're aiming for bobcats, but there's nothing uh, they're aiming to kill all the bobcats in this country, but what they're succeeding in doing is, well, not only that, but is definitely killing the last few ocelots in the U.S. Here's, you thought the vaquita was the only little porpoise headed for extinction? Don't forget about these little uh, pink dolphins over in Taiwan. You can kiss goodbye. We do have some good news right here. A few pieces of good news from good right here in California. Court nixes approval of massive California oil train terminal in, in good old Bakersfield, California, the single most polluted town in the U.S. Uh, also, California halts sage grouse hunting. Well, that's a good start, but I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, you can't actually shoot them, but that does nothing for the planet eaters to do everything else to get rid of sage grouse. And finally, here is this the latest story looking into uh, these toxic pesticides and about the synergy, the, the reactions, in these chemical interactions between all of these goddamn thousands of chemicals, which are bad enough, but then they start interacting with each other. Good God Almighty. Uh, pretty much... Uh, Pretty much kiss it all goodbye, but we're going 
to wrap up uh, today's ecological meltdown roundup rant with my favorite environmental uh, news roundup from Manga Bay, which I don't believe you will see the words Donald Trump anywhere this week in Manga Bay. So uh, they start off in India. Rate of human wildlife conflict in India has researchers making urgent appeals for solutions. There is one solution to human wildlife conflict in India and that is reducing the population of India by about 90 percent as India uh, ramping up you know to become the number one most populated country in the planet and to make every one of them richer as Mr. Modi pulling out all the stops to take down the planet I love this. Uh... Oh, hey, it's right here. Other side of the courthouse. We got some hikers coming in. Coming in from the snow. Uh, I love this new phone app. Yeah, phone app lists good fish and bad fish to reduce impacts of cyanide fishing. So they have developed a phone, a smartphone app for the cyanide fishermen in India that if their phone, smartphone says, no, 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 don't cyanide bomb this fish, then these cyanide fishermen, these, you know, these good Samaritans of the planet will just go elsewhere. There you go. Let's look at, connect some dots between Europe and Japan. Leaked terms of huge EU-Japan trade deal spark environmental alarm. Details of a soon-to-be-signed massive trade agreement between the European Union and Japan are leaving conservationists wanting more, I bet. Let's go down there to Central America uh, to look at the unraveling of Nicaragua's Indio Maize Biological Reserve. Uh, indigenous territories and nature reserves in Nicaragua have undergone precipitous declines in forest cover since 2001. Again, I have left my no shit Sherlock button and my bullshit detector button in the tent. Guess which one I would be hitting. Uh, wow, this is just planet wide. International Illegal Logging Conference touches on myriad issues. Hmm, do you think so? Uh, here is Singapore. Singapore, the single most, perhaps Singapore, certainly one of the top 10 most unsustainable cities on planet Earth. This is Singapore a statement on International Day of the Tropics. Singapore, infrastructure deficit must be met sustainably. <laughs> Take a wild guess which button would be getting pushed. Okay, here we have conservation comic books to the rescue. Hmm, imagine this. Let's go back to India. A dangerous path. New highway could jeopardize tigers in India. Huh? Never would have thought of that. Uh, here's another com uh, story. They have about every three months they update us on the collapsing Lucere ecosystem 
in Indonesia, one of the last great Garden of Edens left on this planet under, under attack from all sides. Uh, we've already been on, over this one. Norway vexed, vexed as Brazil sends mixed message on Amazon forest protection. Where is the, where is the mixed message? The, the message, the flat out statement is we are pulling out all the stops down here in Brazil to destroy the Amazon rainforest. From the Amazon rainforest to the Arctic. Arctic sea ice is more unstable than ever and the ice may be melting toward a record low in 2017. Hmm. Okay, from the Arctic back to Central America, we were just looking at how Nicaragua's protected reserves are being destroyed at a record rate. And now we find the same story in Panama. Hmm as the ranching industry moving in to uh, Panama's national parks. From Panama over to Asia. Wow. Logging in Malaysia's Ulu Muda forest threatens wildlife and water supplies. Ha! Huh. What a surprise. Well, here's some good news. U.S. bans Brazilian beef imports. I don't believe it. There you go. Right next to that question, U.S. Let's let this fucking planet eater get the fuck out of here with his goddamn... Uh, right next to U.S. bans Brazilian beef imports we have the question is intensification of beef production really a solution to amazonian deforestation anyone listening to this rant who does not know the answer to the question is is intensification of beef production really a solution to amazonian deforestation Obviously, I've had a failure to communicate. Here is one last look at the future of the Sumatran rhinoceros. There you go. Uh, and finally, let's wind up down there because I'm starting to sweat like a pig here in my truck. Uh, we're going to wind up in Ecuador. Ecuador. If anyone thinking that anything has changed since that fucking little planet eater lying sack of shit snake in the grass, Rafael Correa is no longer in power just to uh, set you straight. Illegal logging and hunting threaten Yasuni isolated indigenous groups. Wow, what a surprise. Anyway, guys, I could go on and on and on with this, but I have got a lot to do, and I want to get back up to the banks of um, what is now pretty much Buckeye River. And uh, so I'm going to wrap up this week's Ecological Meltdown Roundup ran, and... Uh, See if I can make it down the hill for my clueless moron roundup rant to kick off the second half of 2017 or not. Bye, guys.